I'm Trish and I've been making Ottos for the last two years. We have been looking at Mblot lately to show our younger students how to code using blocks. So we go to download and you have to go down to Mblot 3 for laptops and desktops. Okay. The reason being that this is the only one that does extensions and Auto DIY is the extension. So you can use it for the PCs, Windows, Macs, operating systems, the OXP of course, Chrome, operating system and Linux. The online create doesn't seem to work with the extension. So it'd be wise to just download. I have a Windows Web 10, so you can save that file. It's 122 megabytes English. It's a general public license, you can read through. And you have a link. Accept agreement. Next. Create a desktop shortcut. Next. And then install. Okay, this is Mblox. It's the latest version of 3. 4.12 and it's still being updated which is good now when you start obviously you're seeing this looks very much like scratch 2 what we need to do now is get into Arduino mode and this is what you have you have the blocks panel you have your coding panel and now you have the Arduino syntax panel and down here is how the uploading is going and we actually have it uh, set in binary mode unless you ask to go into child mode to stay in binary so to start off with uh, Arduino Nano and board is what we use for Otto DIY unless you have something different the extension now we go to manage extensions and this is where you then download Otto. So at the moment, there is a large amount of extensions, as you can see. To save yourself the trouble, why don't you just search for it? And then you can install it. I already got it installed. I found useful was going to more information. This is what you have now. You have the Sternbot by... Han Payne. Hope I pronounced that right. This is Otto DIY M block extension. And what I like about this is it has these six examples. It has a calibration, which I shall show you in a later tutorial. But at the moment, we shall open up the demos. And as you can see, there's quite a large number of demos showing you the different actions you can use. I use first moving as a first introduction to students. So that's what we would do. So just go back to Auto M Block Extension and you can download. Download the zip and then extract it on your laptop, maybe your desktop, and we'll go to the M Block now. We we'll just close this and we're going to load. A first moving and we say open okay so we'll replace whatever you have there now always auto program start with that beginning block so it's got like a little hat you can also use control blocks but we'll start with the beginning code now you see these blocks these blocks show you where to put your pins for your left leg which is the hip and the right hip and your foot etc as you can see there's just four biopad the legs but not the arms okay yeah you got if you want to put an LED matrix these are the pins for that now these blocks would give you the impression that you could change these, highlight these and change. 
but they haven't been written in correctly yet and will be updated at in the future so these are just for reference at the moment and if you brought them out say pop them in you can actually see them here okay but we don't need these it's already in the code so as long as you put the pins correctly you should see this work now at the moment we have a show mouth but because we're starting with just the first auto the beginners DIY auto which you can buy as a kit we will remove that and I will show you in a later tutorial how to add a matrix to the auto DIY and auto plus with arms now we have repeat okay these are like little loops but they just repeat the designate four times and five times I'm just going to shorten this sketch to just repeat three times for the move forward and this you can change to another action like move walking whatever let's we'll take we'll stay with forward in um, speed you can go very fast fast normal slow very slow at the moment we're just going to leave it on normal moving size now this cannot be changed at the moment there's only one moving size of 25 now the next block is a play sound so that's a little buzzer and you can change to the different sounds he or she will make or it now again we have another repeat block I'm going to change that to full and leave move to swing a normal speed with that 25 action size or the size here it is in the syntax so you have initiation which is a cap and then you have this string which shows you repeat of three auto bot moves one which is forward for one second that's the speed and then the 25 is the actual size of that step now we have Autobot Sing and we've got seven which means super happy the string that goes four times and then auto move is swing which is eight for one second again for a step size of 25 and this loops now but the loop or the repeat will go systematically or so sequential so it will first do the stepping for three steps then it does the sing and then it moves four times doing the swing and that's it so that's a good one for the first now we have connections here is the serial ports and that's often with most laptops you're going to have a lot of them turning up so I rememberize these then I actually plug in my auto and he beats quite a bit <laughs> then he's actually a powder he's got a thing I was sketching at the moment so we connect to com 19 and that rapid four beats is the best way I can tell that he's connected correctly. Uh, so he's done, he's ready to go. So we're going to upload. So you get this, it grays out the background, but you can close this window and just see how the uploading is going. So it's setting up at the moment. And here we go and there is this okay so next we'll show you how that looks like on auto it's now being programmed with the first moving 
uh, end block sketch and he has a four AA batteries, standard AA batteries, 1.5 volts. That's his first walk, three feet, no, three times the swing, okay? Well, there you go. That's a good one for your first lesson with your students.